What's up, Michigan Center? Mr. Taluki here with a message for you, a little, a few words of encouragement from Mr. Allen's office, which I hijacked a few minutes ago as I was looking for a good re recording spot so, you know, I can yap on in lectures to all of my freshmen this year. Uh, so some words of encouragement from me. Hey, it's been a strange first quarter and start to the school year for sure. Remember, us teachers are adjusting to it just like all you students are. I think most of you that gave an honest effort probably did a really good job. Some of you maybe didn't put in enough effort or maybe you're a little confused, but remember, all of us are here to help you. So stay in touch with us, man. Communicate with us. Help us help you. <clears throat> Moving on now, excuses and procrastination. If you're a procrastinator, well, man, here's your time to shine. Or maybe it's your time to, <laughs> to feel shame. But let me say, procrastination is easier now than ever. So much of what school is right now at this moment in history is kind of just discipline and like getting the job done. Uh, if you're a procrastinator and you are a kid that typically doesn't do work until somebody tells you to do work, well, man, you got to have that personal responsibility piece right now. Um, it, it's really easy to put stuff off. And then when you do that, you end up getting overwhelmed. All the work builds up on you and you feel like you put yourself in a hole and you can't get out of it. Hey, right now is the beginning of quarter two. Even if you bombed out quarter one, you can save it. Our grades are based on 40% quarter one, 40% quarter two, and 20% your exam. You have to pass two of those three things to get credit. So stop procrastinating. Stop making excuses. Find a way to get the job done. Pass quarter two, pass your exam. And I'll tell you, I mean, I gave this deal to all my students. I can't speak for all the teachers, but if I don't care how bad you did in quarter one, if you kick butt and get all my work in in quarter two and an honest effort at the exam, I'll get you credit in my class. And I think probably most teachers at MC kind of feel the same way. So excuses, procrastination, if you keep up with that, you're not going to get credit. But if you move past that and get into some like routines and have some good time management and discipline, you definitely can. You can make good things happen. I give strong advice on uh, to a lot of my students about like having routines in your life. I'm a pretty disorganized kind of mm, just fly by the seat of my pants kind of guy. Uh, I'm an orange personality. Some of you know what I'm talking about there from the True Colors uh, personality test where, you know, I just kind of go with the flow. I'm not a real big planner. I'm not big on structure and, you know, having everything like listed out. So that's something I've struggled with in life. I have a strong tendency at procrastinating, having some routines makes my day go a lot better. It makes me feel better. Have a certain wake up time. I know some of you aren't reporting to school. Many of you aren't. Uh, set a wake up time and stick to it. Don't let yourself stay up super late every night and then sleep in every day. When you get up, have some self-respect. Make your bed, brush your teeth, do those morning routines, get yourself going, maybe even get a little, a little exercise. I mean, honestly, I love walking my dogs in the morning and every time I get exercise in the morning, it wakes me up and makes me feel more alert and like I'm ready to take on my day. Uh, check into your classes daily. That's a huge one for my class and I think it's big for pretty much all the classes at the high school. Just check in every day. When you skip two, three, five days, man, it all builds up. So that's got to be part of your daily, like preferably morning routine. Go check in and see what you got to do. And hey, make some checklists. Like when you get up in the morning, do a daily to-do list. And as you get things done, check them off. It makes you feel like you're accomplishing something. I have a weekly to-do list and I make a daily to-do list and I try to get everything checked off by, by the end of the school day every day. And you know what? I kind of feel good about that. Uh, discipline. That's just like not having the excuse is kind of the inverted way of saying that, man, have some discipline, uh, get those routines and stick to it. Don't make excuses for yourself. Um, don't enable yourself to not be the best you you can be. You need to have that discipline piece and get the job done. Uh, so hopefully all that makes sense. And I think like maybe the last thing I'll say to you, but it might be one of the most important things is stay positive for goodness sakes. Uh, don't go through life as a pessimist. Optimist, I've been around a lot of students and a lot of people, a lot of friends and family. I can tell you 100%, I think being positive, being that optimist is the way to go through life. Uh, it'll make all of this stuff much easier. 
even if you're not happy with the way school is or missing out on a lot of social things, well, guess what? I'm not happy with it either, but it doesn't help anything to be negative Nelly all day. So stay positive, look on the bright side, try to spread a little bit of joy in the community, help out your, your peers, help out your teachers, help out your parents at home, be positive and impact your, your life in your personal bubble in a very positive kind of way. All right. Hopefully that was a, some good encouragement for you. Peace out.